So when was the last time that you made a really big decision? Like where to live? How many children to have? Or maybe even what to have for dinner? Did you make the right choice? Because life is full of really big decisions. And for animals, these decisions are critical for survival and for reproduction because there are trade-offs. For every one unit of time spent seeking out a new home, less time is spent foraging or raising your offspring. I study decision-making in the honeybee. Now, bees have persisted on Earth for over 110 million years, enduring the very same events that wiped out the dinosaurs. So, how are honeybees so good at surviving? Well, this is in part because they are awesome decision makers. And my research focused on one key decision that a queen must make. How large to make her eggs? Think of it like an investment portfolio. When resources are finite, should you invest heavily in fewer large eggs or many smaller eggs? Now we all know the saying, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. But for a honeybee queen, when conditions are tough, she will do exactly that. And that's why my research focused on measuring honeybee eggs from all across the southwest of the UK to find out when and why in nature this happens. And what I tell you next may surprise you. In urban areas which were peppered with allotments and gardens, honeybee queens laid smaller eggs because there was plenty of food available in the environment. In rural areas, honeybee queens laid much larger eggs 45% larger, in fact, with the queen potentially provisioning each egg with more nutrients in case of a sudden shortage. This had downstream consequences on behaviour. My tracking experiments showed that honeybees from larger eggs forage sooner and more often. So we know now that honeybees and their queens modify egg size and behaviour depending on the environment that they find themselves in. And this information could prove vital to help inform future beekeepers of where to put their hives and when their colonies might be under stress. So why is this important? Well, honeybees are really important pollinators, accounting for approximately 50% of all the fruits and vegetables in our supermarkets today. So in a world without honeybees, who knows what the consequences could be for our own decision making? But it might make the choice of what to have for dinner a whole lot harder. Thank you.